Oh, that's awesome. Okay, so this is kind of like an odd question, but I love asking this to people who are grandparents because it's amazing the, the responses that I get. My mom told me, is this true that you love your grandkids more than your kids? Oh, I don't think I, don't think I can say that from experience because as I've had my grandchildren, I've still been a mom. So it, yes. when, when you have a large family and you're still, you've got to be a mom to your own kids, you don't grandparent the same way as a typical grandparent does it. Very interesting. Yes. So what you're doing is you're including your grandchildren in your current family with your children. So like in lots of situations, the um, aunts and uncles are the same ages as some of the grandchildren. So it's like playmates more than like the typical grandparent thing that we see now, and this is not typical for ages past, okay? This is not how they used to, because I've done, I've studied this a lot, because you can have a lot of grandparent guilt too, okay? You thought it was bad, <laughs> had mom guilt. Oh no. <laughs> anyway, so what I've done is, I, I, you know, I've researched this and I've looked at this, and what I've decided to do, and this is what my husband and I have decided to do, is that we are going to be there, and we are going to be uh, open and loving to our grandchildren, but we are not going to be the typical grandparents as we define them in our age. Mm -hmm. um, this is how they did it in times past. Grandma and grandpa, that's where they live. We go and say hi to them, right? But grandma mm -hmm. and grandpa don't have to go to every event that, that they do. They don't have to, you know what I'm saying? If we tried, yeah. it, it, would, it wouldn't be fair to the children we still have at home who need us to be their parents. So. Right. So um, we still have to be focused on being the parents to the children we have. And then we are always here. We're always loving if there's some event and that we're always happy for our grandkids, but we may not be physically available to be there at all of their events or, you know, I'm trying to, I don't, I'm yes. gonna, you know, I, I've been, I think about that a lot, how in the Bible, you know, like Rachel or Rebecca, they never saw their families. Like they would give their daughters away, they'd go to a far away and they'd never see them again. And there was no sky for anything like writing letters. Who knows? I don't think they did that, you know, but just yeah. amazing. Yeah, it's, I think that if you talk to someone maybe in 1920, their idea of what a grandparent is would be very different. Um, the grandparents are there. They're kind of like fallback parents. In, some, in case something happened to the parents, the grandparents would be there. Um, and the grandparents kind of fill in gaps sometimes. Like um, if something happens in the family, the grandparents can help with the children. They can do stuff like that. But as far as being so involved in, in buying things and paying for things and all that kind of stuff, I mean, it's just not going to be feasible for us to do that. However, here's the cool thing. And this is how mm -hmm. large families are not in a deficit. They, our grandchildren have so many aunts and uncles mm -hmm. that, I mean, so like, like we might be able to afford one present. They have, they have five, six aunts and uncles that want to give them things <laughs> and do things for them and babysit them and everything. So see, there's the trade-off. So even though the parents, there's so many other people in this family that are able to give attention and help. So we've kind of multiplied ourselves in a way, even though we as physical, um, Grandparents can't be there like the typical, we have multiplied ourselves. So actually I think yes. our grandchildren have multiple benefits more than if we only had like one or two children. Is that, yeah. Oh yes, definitely. I mean, out of my four grandparents, you know, three passed away before I even got to meet them, but they had large family, like 10, you know, kids. That, I mean, that's my family. You know, I did, I never felt like I missed out on anything because they were I'm sure, in them and all of their children and, and all of that. So yeah, definitely. That's such a blessing. That's awesome. I'm glad you talked about that. Cause I think people need to hear, that's hear that. 